Cape Edway squad. So we have a brand new squad member joining us, that being Jean de Villiers, the former Springbok captain. So he's going to be out and about shooting some really good content with us today. But we're going to try to prank him, which is very difficult because how do you prank the prankster? But uh, come closer. Come closer. Yeah. So we asked Amando to Q&A him and to tell him that I'm, I'm running late or something silly like that. And he's going to ask him all sorts of gibberish questions and hopefully he falls for them all. So watch the space. Hey, Metro Squad, uh, welcome. We're here today. My name, first of all, my name is Armando from Pilot 2 Publications, and we're here today with former Sharks, Stormers, and Springbok legend, John de Villiers. Uh, welcome, John. Thank you. Um, I never played for the Sharks. Stormers and Springboks, yeah. my bad. It's a good start. It's a great start. Yeah. So, John, when you made your debut for South Africa in 2012 against France, who was the player that took you under the wing? Um, yeah, a player that took me under the wing. Firstly, uh, it was actually in 2002, not in uh, 2012, that I mm -hmm. made my debut. Um, and Robbie Fleck. Robbie Fleck was, uh, you know, part of that squad. Obviously, we played together at, at Western Province as well, and okay. the Stormers. Uh, and look, it was a it was a short tour for me because I only played seven minutes of that first game. But um, yeah, I suppose in terms of a senior player, you know, Flecky really really helped me a lot there. Okay, interesting. And then question number two, a bit of a tougher one. Who was the one international player that you played against that you hated playing against? Any time you played, it was. It's a strong word, eh? Uh, I don't think I don't think I hated anyone, um, but it was certainly tough. You know, all of the test matches that I that I played, I'd, I'd rather replace the hate with the toughest guy I played against. Yeah. And um, and it was probably my nonu. You know, we played a lot of rugby against each other at franchise level and at at, at uh, international level. Okay. And he's just a you know quality rugby player, quality human being as well. Okay, nice. Um, being one of South Africa's best number 12s of all time, you know, it's one of my favorite moments and a lot of other favorite moments, obviously for a lot of South Africans, was one that comes to mind was the 20, 2007 World Cup final against uh, England when you took the penalty from 49 meters and you scored the penalty against England with the World Cup final. Um, what did it feel like? What was it? That was Franz Stein that did that. So I got injured in the first game and Franz Stein basically took over as the as the number 12 uh, oh, yes, after yes, yes. that, so he, he actually kicked that, so we should bank oh. that question for him. Okay, no problem. Um, then another question, John, um, what was it like to play in the Super Rugby final in 2010? <laughs> I didn't play. Um, the Stormers were in the final in 2010. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was actually uh, in Ireland then. Um, Playing for Munster that season. Okay, yeah. okay. Okay, last question. Is it true that you chose rugby over golf because you weren't really that good at golf? <laughs> well, that's true, yeah, because I had no chance with golf. Okay. Um, so I didn't, I didn't really have to decide on that. Um, interestingly, though, my mom always reckoned that swimming was my strongest. Okay. Um, I never considered making swimming a career, though. So well, it was always rugby. It's good that you chose rugby. We're all happy about that. Yeah. And then before we go, Jacques, I just wanted to ask you, what's the most awkward interview that you've ever had? Yeah, I, I reckon this one was right up there as one of, one of the, the yeah. Time. But you did well in making it extremely awkward. Okay, well, I'm glad that that's what worked out. And um, yeah. thank you for taking the time, Jean. Um, it's a sure <laughs> no, I was the kick. I just thought, surely, surely, surely the research can't be that bad.